Good morning, thanks for stopping by. My name's Ashlyn, I'm 21, living in a camper. I live with my boyfriend and four cats that are all in a family system. We have a mama kitty, Nyla, and her three babies, Coco, Runner, and Chi Chi. We are officially leaving our hometown in 38 days. This is coming so soon. After 38 days, we are full-time traveling. We are planning on heading straight to the mountains and spending a month at each spot. We figured that if you pay monthly rent, it is way less expensive than paying bi-weekly or weekly rent. And we can just drive to all the spots that we wanna see. Right now, it is 6.41 in the morning. I am going to instruct a class. But yeah, just come hang out with me today while I live my life in a camper. I have not been on top of my journaling as much as I'd like to admit this last week. I am happy that I at least took the time to pick it up this morning. It's always good for me to check in with myself, check in with my mental health, and just see how my inner world's going. Dump whatever I need to dump onto the sheet of paper and sort through my mind. I have to admit, I don't really have that many friends, so it really helps for me to talk to myself, validate my own experience, and work through some of the heavier or lighter things going on within my day. I basically just think of it as building a relationship with myself, building a firm, solid relationship with myself so I am able to show up fully in all of the other relationships that I have in my life. gosh so I just finished that class that class was so hard but it was so good I'm so proud of myself to see how my practice has evolved and how I've been able to share that with others I love what I do and I'm gonna miss it so much when we leave that was an hour-long sculpt class and I definitely kicked some booty I just have so much fun doing it I'm gonna miss it so much when we leave little update it's been a few hours I've been really tired so I've just been laying in bed enjoying my Saturday as I should but now it's actually time to get up and go do things so I am going to Aldi the grocery store with my friend Callie and then I'll have a little haul for you guys So I cut this load up in three sections. We ended up spending $137 for this next couple weeks of groceries. I am very happy with everything I got, but oh my gosh, could you believe that this carton of eggs is almost $5 at Aldi? I just thought that was crazy. The prices have gone up so much. But when I go grocery shopping, I basically just get the basic things that I need, things that I can base meals around, and then when I'm home cooking meals, I just go from there. Also, if you haven't tried these burritos, you should. These are the best frozen burritos you will ever buy. We had to get two boxes this time because they're so good. I always have to make sure I get absolutely everything we could ever want and need at the grocery store or else we will go to the gas station and spend $5 to $10 on donuts every night, okay? We just need a sweet every single night and if I don't get it at the store, then we'll self-sabotage. Now that I am home, the groceries are put away, I was actually gonna try and make beer rocks for dinner, aka Runza's. If you didn't know, Runza is a fast food restaurant that serves beer rocks. So I'm gonna try my best to make beer rocks today. I'm feeling like I don't want a recipe. I'm just gonna wing it from scratch and see how it goes. I have some ideas already but we just gotta trust the process. I started by dicing up my cabbage very finely. I have never cooked with cabbage before, so I was a little intimidated, so I just finely diced it up and threw it in the pot along with a half diced onion. I'm sure that you could use whatever kind of onion you have laying around. I just had these red ones that we had to use up. And then I also put some minced garlic in the pan. I put butter over everything and I let that cook for just a little bit. I wasn't really sure what I was doing. I was just kind of feeling it out, you know? Mm -hmm. 
After I let that saute in the pan for a little bit with the lid on, I decided it was time to add the ground beef. The ground beef I was using was completely frozen in the middle, so I just let it sit in there with the lid on and cook up a little bit until I was able to scramble it up into the cabbage mixture. I only used salt and pepper to season since there was already onion and garlic in there. I'm sure if you wanted to replace the onion and garlic with powder, you could do that. Also, I wanted to talk about my irrational fear of biscuit cans opening. For for some reason, I am just so scared of the little pop that happens when you open a biscuit can, so I actually can't open biscuit cans on my own. Luckily, my boyfriend walked in just in time to open it for me, but as you can see, I didn't have any flour laid down, so it probably wasn't a good idea to do it on the cutting board. I moved it to a greased pan, and then I actually pressed my cheese into my biscuit dough. I did end up overfilling the first two, you know, I was a little bit ambitious with that filling. I wanted to make sure that I used it all, but I learned. I figured that I would get better as I go. It took a few tries, but by the end of it, I was feeling pretty confident about my craft. I learned that you have to pull the dough over and try your best not to get the filling along the edges where you need to pinch the dough together. I then got some butter melted down in the microwave and coated it along the top before baking it. I'm not sure if this step is necessary, but it was really good regardless. I just followed the instructions on the biscuit dough can in order to bake. I figured since the fillings are already cooked, all we have to worry about is the biscuit dough. They didn't have any french fries at the store, but I figured that was just God telling me, girl, eat some healthy potatoes. They aren't processed, they come straight from the ground. Do the hard work and feel better. So I cut up four little potatoes, put them in the pot, along with our vegetable, because you should always have a vegetable with your meal. I will preach it till I die. And here's how they turned out. You guys, this was so good. And while it wasn't necessarily the easiest to make, it was a bit more tedious, but it was well worth the work. They were so good. I just made a ketchup and mayo mixture to dip them in, and honestly, favorite meal of this week. It's a new day. Here is my workout fit for the class that I'm going to instruct. It's 45 minutes of hot yoga sculpt. I did a pretty good class yesterday, so I was feeling a little intimidating about writing as good of a class today. I just got that skill inside of me at this point, so I think it'll be just as great. We're going with the girl outfit today. I've got a cherry slushy Alani, and it's actually snowing today, which it's been so nice for so long, and then we get smacked with this surprise snow. So I just spent my morning planning my class out, enjoying the snow, pitter-pattering on the window, and now I am ready to go and work my booty off. I will really miss this job though, so I'm going to enjoy it until we leave. For lunch today, I was feeling that pesto Caesar salad. If you haven't tried that salad kit, oh my goodness, it is so good. And then we had leftover beer rocks, so it's like, obviously we have to eat our leftovers, these food prices. Nothing beats the sound of raindrops hitting the rooftop of our home as I make some really yummy tea. I don't know why sometimes I just get too lazy to pull out my tea kettle. It's honestly so easy to do to just heat up some water and pour it over my millions of tea bags that I have sitting in my cabinet. As I waited for my tea to cool down to drink, I finally tackled this mountain of laundry that I have been making a bigger deal in my head than it needed to be. It actually did not take me that long to fold it. It's been a super chill day in the RV after my class. We have just been chilling, enjoying the rain. This is honestly my favorite line of soup from Aldi. They are not only delicious, but they also have really great ingredients. If you have an Aldi, I would recommend trying it. We kind of went for a beanie weenie vibe tonight. So we had a little bit of a scary moment there for a second. All of the breakers in the kitchen and the bathroom just stopped working, but the breaker wasn't tripped. So 
we were fiddling around with everything for like 30 minutes thinking that we were doomed. Well, I guess it was as simple of a fix as unplugging a cord that was wet outside because it's been raining all day. That wet cord tripped the GCFI outlet and so I freaked out about it but not as bad as I have in the past about issues. Freaked out about it a little bit and then I solved the problem. I found the solution and it just made sense. I'm just glad the issue was as simple as unplugging a cord. I found with RV life a lot of the issues that we're having are so simple to fix especially with the older RVs because they're so much simpler. I'm grateful. Good morning. I have woken up to really big rain. It has rained all day yesterday, all day today, and it's supposed to keep storming all day tomorrow. I'm just grateful that we have our home to keep us warm and dry. It's all rainy outside and the world outside looks gray. Our inside is so cozy, so warm. I'm so grateful. I was so happy to sit here with my coffee, get my daily journaling done, which after filming this video, I have been keeping up with. I'm very proud of myself. I just got done with a massage appointment again. Thanks, Sonia. Good thing that I had Dinner already cooking though in the crock pot. I just made my favorite soup. I think I've already made it on this channel before. I make different variations of it. The base of it though is tomato soup and beef. Creamy tomato soup and beef. I am ready to have a good night. Nothing beats a cold day more than a nice hot bowl of soup and a fat protein milkshake. One of these bad boys a day keeps my sweet tooth cravings away. It is now 5 p.m. Completely different day. I finally decided to pick up the camera today at 5 p.m. I have just not been feeling the best today. We need milk, so we wanted to get out of the house since it's been rainy. I haven't really been feeling the best, so we're just going to Dollar General for some milk and then going back home for a little outing. We're doing a little challenge right now where we're going two weeks without eating out or getting coffee out or anything. We're just eating at home. So going out and doing this is fun. All right, so we just got done at Dollar General and obviously we got more than we went in for. I haven't been able to find these since I was a kid. So obviously when I saw them, I had to buy them. They insisted we get two bags because it was a deal. I got these because it'll help me keep my bathroom sink clean. We did a whole round trip around the Dollar General. So chicken broccoli rice blend, chicken flavored noodles, Alfredo noodles, Alfredo broccoli, cheddar broccoli rice. We got another pair of scissors. Could we really pass these up? We got this pizza and I was originally gonna make crispy fish sandwiches tonight, but I think pizza sounds better. And yes, we actually did end up getting what we went there for, milk. I'm gonna make a mean protein shake tonight. That protein shake last night with the banana in it was so good. I have to admit, this does look like a good pizza. Frozen pizza and broccoli is just such an elite combo. When you eat pizza but are still trying to feel like a healthy bit, what kind of vegetable do you have on the side? Do you prefer a salad? Do you prefer asparagus, broccoli? Also, look at this sunset peeking through our window. It was so beautiful. I finally figured out how to open the blinds correctly because I decided to do spring cleaning. Mm -hmm. 
The serving size on the box of this pizza said one sixth of the pizza is 330 calories. So we bulking tonight, boys. Also, we watched the Quiet On Set documentary and that was very good. I'm gonna show you my protein shake recipe. This is the one that I've been hyper fixated on. So I think it's very good. Always start your protein shake space out with ice. Ice first or else the powder will get stuck at the bottom. Then you do your serving of protein powder, a banana, chocolate sauce, and peanut butter. Fill it up a little bit of the ways with milk. You don't want too much milk. I guess it depends on how thick you like it. I personally like mine very thick and that's all you need. I don't know how many calories are in this, but it is good. It will fill you up and keep you full. I've got my little shake. It is so good, especially with the banana in there. I feel like I'm being more healthy when I make these little shakes instead of like eating ice cream. But anyways, I think I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you friend for sticking till the end and I'll see you next week.